Washington Post ran an article in which they had a high school teacher explain what is the difference between capitalism, socialism, and communism. And this is what, how the article finishes. Um, in a communist country, there is no private property and the government decides everything. So, so, so communism is Russia, uh, you know, before the fall of, of the Soviet Union. It, in a capitalist society, the people make those decisions. <laughs> the businesses, the market decides how much products will cost, how many there are, where it will be made. So that, there you have it, capitalism. In a socialist system, there's a mix of both. Okay, so that's usually what we're told about what socialism is. Socialism is a little bit of state control, a little bit of regulation of business to make sure they don't get out of hand with business. But, so you still have the business system, you still have you know the Phil Knights running the corporations. You, is it Phil Knight or is he the coach? Am I getting all the names wrong? No. Oh, okay, I was thinking of that coach that just came out, Bobby Knight. Oh my God, did you hear that speech? <laughs> Okay. Um, anyway, uh, sorry to get back. So, so that's really most people when they when they think about socialism, they think it's it's um, it's a mixed economy. It's uh, a little more government intervention uh, to really smooth out the excesses of capitalism. And that's certainly, if you look at Bernie Sanders, if that's what you think socialism is, that's those are Bernie Sanders' ideas. He wants to figure out ways to make things better within the framework of the system that we still live in. And so on the one hand, what Bar Bernie says is extremely positive. He has all these positions which are fantastic and that we support. She uh, ever listed some of them at the beginning in, the, in her presentation. Um, 